Hello, hello, namaste, namaste, and welcome to the review on Connected to India. I am Daisy Rani Sabaya. Alankrita Srivastava writes and directs powerful women's stories. With Bombay Begums, she has another feather in her cap. Oh, the location set in Bombay is just fantastic, as there is no better Petri dish than Bombay to explore the urban complexity of women's lives. And I can say that because I'm from Bombay. <laughs> The show looks at women in the field of business who are involved in the banking and corporate struggle sector who struggle to carve their place. Apart from their workplace struggles, these women are also struggling with their physical being. You know, amid pregnancy, first menstruation cycle, menopause, it's also a quest for them to discover their sexuality. And boy oh boy, there's a lot of exploration there. The six episode series covers a laundry list of women's issues too including motherhood, the Me Too movement, gender, and a quest for identity. The film refrains from being preachy though, despite covering these important and burning issues. The screenplay of Alankrita and Bornilila Chatterjee, with their sharp writing, avoid these possible cliches that makes the series very watchable. Now, the only thing that made me really sad, even though I know it rang true, is that there's very little happiness in these women's lives. And it sometimes felt like a, you know, like a role reversal, where the women were trying very hard to be just like men in the corporate world. So, the plot. The plot revolves around Bekam 1, Rani, played by Pooja Bhatt, who has just been named as the CEO of a bank. And she picks another bright banker, Fatima, Shahana, Begum too, as a deputy, and together they toil very hard to leave an impression in the male-dominated world, where all the male board members search for every possible opportunity to see their downfall. Begum 3 is Aisha, played by Plabita Borthakur, and she's another new recruit who wants to climb the corporate ladder fast. And she is willing to use her sexual guile to get to where she wants to and the toll it takes on her. When Aisha is assigned the task to oversee a social welfare scheme, enter Begum 4, protagonist Lakshmi, played by Amruta Subhash, a sex worker who has had enough of a wretched life and now wants to start up fresh. Hamko is sacha ye bhai. The fifth Begum is Rani's stepdaughter Shai, that is played by Singapore kid Adya Anand. The narrative weaves several complex issues peppered with male characters. There's Manish Chaudhary, Vivek Kumbar, who's another Singapore kid, Danish Hussain, and Imad Shah. They all have all ace their roles and no character looks out of sync. But the series, of course, belongs to the Begums. In fact, it's a delight, you know, to see so many powerful performances in one series. But the scene stealer, undoubtedly, is Amruta Subhash who has given an uninhibited performance in the role of a sex worker. Rightfully, in the movie, actually, they say, you know, that she's the real Begum of Bombay, as she does some serious heavy lifting in life as a sex worker. She has a winning smile every time she scores a point. She flashes her wonderful smile. Bombay Begum is more of a slice of life and strikes a chord with the viewers as everything seems relatable. Alankrita, the top boss director Begum, has done a remarkable job, as she has a keen insight into women's souls. You see, the purpose of a web series is to create an immersive experience. The plot, the character and the story have to have enough complexities and conflicts that it deserves the long-form approach to storytelling. So the initial episodes, according to me, are quite slow as the storylines and the characters are being developed slowly but surely. Ignore the slow pace and you have an arresting drama in hand. Bombay Begum might look flawed at places, but its heart is in the right place. So, how many laddus should we give this show? I'm absolutely delighted to give Bombay Begum three well-deserved laddus. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, do press the like button and share it ahead. Namaste, namaste. Hope to see you soon.